Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jenny McCafferty for the Michigan Golfer in Manistee, Michigan. And with us is W. Bruce Matthews III, and we're going to call him Bruce today. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. It's very exciting to be talking with you about a number of different kinds of courses. Really, you specialized in, in remodeling courses, which is pretty challenging because you've got a, a given architect and um, an owner or committee or something. But when you're starting a new course, what are some of the things you have to think about? Well, on the new course, you think about, number one, what are the owner's goals? Mm -hmm. Number two, what is the property going to give you? Number three, what type of budget do we have to work with? Yeah. And then melding those together to get a playable, fun golf course for the majority of, majority of the population. So Marsh Oaks um, in um, New, Haven. New Haven, Michigan, which is somewhere between Detroit and Port Huron. Right on I-94. Okay. <laughs> And it, its name gives a clue about some of the land you had to work with, Marsh Oaks. So Marsh Oaks is the second course at Oak Ridge okay. Golf Course. The Imatangelo family owned it, uh, Otto and Guido and Jim and John uh, Imatangelo. They were, it was very busy, a very busy 18 holes. They had the property to the north and looking to expand it so that they could increase the amount of play they had, which was easily done. Great. Because uh, as soon as we put it in, uh, yeah. the play, play uh, increased. Uh, put in Marsh Oaks, so we had Old Oaks as the old course. Okay. Marsh Oaks was our new course. Okay. And it was on the flatlands and the wetlands north of the existing golf course. So wetlands implies permitting and uh, division of natural resources and challenges. We had a lot of challenges on that property. And, Number one was the wetlands. We had wooded wetlands and emergent wetlands. Uh, it was also uh, flat, silty uh, property, so it didn't drain well, which which contributed to the wetlands on That's it. That's what wetlands are about. Right? That's the, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, and the other interesting thing was that the, uh, there was no water available. Too much water and not enough water. That's correct. When we were looking at at drilling well, how do we irrigate this? When normally you drill a, an eight inch, sometimes 12 inch well, and then uh, fill a pond and go from there. On Oak Ridge, we uh, had a lot of, and it's, it's uh, close to a lot of the Great Lakes, it's hard to get a lot of deep water, uh, especially down there, you get salt water very quickly. Sure. And uh, so we were drilling two inch wells, four inch wells, and would come up dry wells. So what we, what we did was dig eight acres of ponds so that we had a reservoir, and then we had a couple of smaller wells that we had to hit so that uh, the smaller wells filled the ponds and we had a larger reservoir of water to, to pull from. So, so you added water to the marshes somehow. We added water to where it wasn't marsh, <laughs> and the water was strategically integrated into the golf hole. <laughs> So you made a few trips to folks at DNR, I imagine. It was, uh, it was an interesting, <laughs> uh, interesting permit process. Back yeah, <laughs> I imagine so. Well, tell us about the course. Marsh Oaks is, uh, uh, it's got open holes uh, around ponds. You've got some wooded holes uh, over some shots carrying over some, some wetlands. Uh, you've got some open holes over wetlands. And, and wetlands adjacent to holes, but it's a uh, it's a very it's a very fun uh, golf course. Uh, bent fairways, by now they're bent full of fairways, uh, large greens, multiple tees, multiple options, and that's what you look for on, in a good round of golf. Is give give the golfer an option, give them choices where to based on where they land, what the con weather conditions are. So really a lot of variety among those 18 holes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you have a course where, you, where the name itself implies part of what you're going to see, how do you decide what's a signature hole, or is that something you think about? I always think about a signature hole when I'm designing it. 
but that never turns out to be the signature hole based on the <laughs> owner or the players. So it, uh, the signature holes are tough because what I think is one, uh, when it turns out, it often isn't the one I think it is. Yeah. I know. It's, <laughs> It, it's it's funny. It's it's always an interesting question to ask when we're visiting a, a course for the first time, and because it's like somebody's idea. This is my favorite hole. Yeah. So, what do you look for when you're thinking signature hole? One that fits my game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, uh, again, everybody, uh, uh, the beauty, the beauty of the golf hole. Uh, looking at the color, the texture around it. Uh, it'd be nice to have a long view over water. Yeah. Uh, that's really that's really a neat thing. If we can put the hole on the edge of the course with something beyond, that, that's pretty. Is this water that you're going to be carrying? No, no, no this, is, this, is, this is Mother Nature. If we, okay. can, if we can get it right next to Mother Nature's beauty okay. and, and have people look at the golf course and look what the beauty of Mother Nature right there that's adjacent. Then we've done it. So it's uh, it's looking at it that way. Do most of the courses you work with have water to contend with? Most of them. Most of them. We're in Michigan, so you don't have to go very far. And most of my work's in Michigan, so and you don't have to go very far to see water. Uh, whether it, every every 40 acres has got a creek on it, or a, or a river, or or some type of swampy body of water on it. So. So, Marsh Hoax, really what you're going to see is a variety. You're going to see woods, you're going to see marshes, you're going to see meadows, that kind of thing. Very close to town. You're, you're out in nature, very close to town. 